news, dog sledding is one of the oldest forms of transportation, dating back thousands of years. This longtime tradition is still common in Alaska, but did you know it can also be found right here on the western slope? Well, our Timber Schumann takes you to the 18th annual sled dog competition hosted on the Grand Mesa. It just brings me joy. I love being able to do these kinds of things with my pets. There are some challenges out there, you know, a few short little hills, and so a lot of fun, fast turns. Putting their energy to productive use, giving them a job, it's great because I say they do the work, I get the exercise. Take a moment, you know, and uh, flood his inbox too. We bring in mushers from throughout several several states. We actually have a musher down here from Canada. You know, dogs are competitive. They see the team in front of you. You know, and they're, oh, let's go get them, let's go get them, you know. Mushers met for the 18th annual Grand Mesa Summit Challenge to let their dogs run wild last weekend. Rocky Mountain Sled Dog Club and also Colorado Mountain Mushers are co-hosting this event. Oh, I took first place in the six dog sprint. Lynn Whipples raced her dogs for 38 years. She was a key player in building the Summit Challenge. Each year you see it a little different although our course is say, pretty similar. She tells me snowmobiles grade and create the track starting a couple weeks before the event so no sleds or pups fall through the several feet of snow at 10,500 feet. They do their eight mile, they close that gate. Now there's the six mile course, then they close that gate, then there's the four mile course, then there's the two mile course. So everyone starts out the same, it's just where they turn. Lori Brandt competed in the two dog and one dog ski drawer events. The two dog ski drawer is the same as a six dog sled, which is six miles. And the one dog ski drawer is the same as a four dog sled, which is four the eight dog sleds run the longest track, the eight mile, which was the first event of the day. Whipple says in all, 25 participants competed this weekend, but not for cash. We're getting a lot of dog food from Nutrisource and Chowdown is an awesome sponsor for us. Ashley Robinson competed in the one dog ski draw race with blazing speed. We hit 22 miles per hour. Though she tells me she can go faster in the dirt. In dry land when he's pulling me on my uh, mountain bike. You get a lot, a lot more speed there. <laughs> it's a bit scarier. <laughs> That's right. In the off seasons, Ashley and other competitors have their pups pull a bike or four wheeler instead of skis and sleds. I guess we could say you train every day. We go on runs, we go on hikes. There's always something, but train, train about once a week. And you're working with them that whole time with leader training, like getting your dogs who are in the front to know G's and haws and whoa and on out and hold and you know the, the basic commands that you use. G means right and haw means left. They're bred for it, they love a job and, and it's just exhilarating to be attached to that energy. Reporting for KREX 5, I'm Timber Schumann. Thank you Timber. Now on KREX 5 News Return.